effect of medium change so look at this i don't, don't think anything further has to be said but i will explain it if required more <coughs> any doubts please so far please ask quickly intensity what is intensity so these terms we did in in, in a last to last class also let's do it again so there's a concept of energy right so energy is the capacity to do work yeah, that's that's energy in joules work energy heat all these are same thing even mass is energy so all these are same thing so energy uh, heat you know and then then maybe work what else i mean energy can be anything and then then mass so these are all same things there's no difference at all these are all measured in same units of joules right? and then then comes the concept of power power is energy or work or whatever heat per unit time a second make it use over here like when i say the 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 bulb here is uh, 25 watts 25 joules per second 50 joules in two seconds 100 joules in four seconds right that's what it means per unit time what is joules per second you can have joules per minute it's your choice <coughs> whatever time unit you decide now comes the intensity you got to see the flow here right intensity is power per unit area so these photons are giving some they have some energy right so per unit time how much energy is falling on my palm that is the the power that is falling but one square meter may kitna is falling right so that is called the intensity or you can write it as energy falling per unit time per unit area so basically how many joules are falling here in one second if this was one square meter anybody who did not understand please tell me I can re repeat this. Okay, you got to say yes or no. Understood, yes, understood, no. Did you get it or did you not get it? Hello, 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 hello. Okay, anybody can at least. Okay, Sai Kumar is good enough. He's saying yes, I get it. Atri got it. Okay, good, good. Anybody who did not understand, tell me now. Do you understand completely? As in completely, no questions, no doubts. Abhinaya got it. So, so this is this slide. Just take your time. N photons every second right so that is the power nh nu every second divided by area you will be using these formula we will do questions in tomorrow class got to understand this completely Yes, Atri. Yeah, some of the things in, in do share units, but they're different things. Because now if you think about, see, Atri, please listen and everybody listen. What is the unit of work? Work is actually force. Uh, force times the displacement, right? So the unit of work actually is Newton meter. And we call it joules, but then it is Newton meter, right? Now, when you look at this beam here, I apply a force here <coughs> multiplied by the distance. So, torque is equal to force times this distance. And this unit is also Newton meter, but these are not comparable. I will not be able to uh, add. You add similar things, right? but I cannot say five Newton meters of work 
plus 2 newton meter of torque that doesn't make sense to me right so this cannot be added together so sometimes units are same dimensions are same but they are not like comparable or identical quantities they are still different quantities so kind of like more examples there let's say uh, in previous class 11th you studied um, young's modulus right young's modulus is stress by strain now stress is measured in newtons per square meters right strain has no unit so young's model has this unit but so does the pressure pressure also has the same unit of newtons per square meter so, but they're not comparable you cannot add pressure and young's modulus two different uncomparable things okay. so let's let's continue here uh, yeah anybody who has not understood so far any concept because i i don't want to go very fast and leave leave some confusions anybody has any questions with whatever we studied so far anybody <laughs> anybody please tell yes or no no questions yes question 100 questions zero questions okay i i think Nobody is interested uh, in answering to me at least. Achha, all clear, is it clear? Because I have covered so much today, I just want to slow down now. Okay, that's what I'm saying. If anything is not clear, I can go in details on that. So I have covered very more topics today than I was actually planning to. I might have to revise a few things tomorrow, maybe that's fine before i go on more topics i mean really these are going to be really confusing no no these are going to be confusing <laughs> yeah so what i will do is actually i'll give you a, a very quick brief overview of what is photoelectric effect we are going to do it in detail anyways in in next class like not tomorrow maybe monday's class we are going to do photoelectric effect. i'm going to give you five minutes overview which is more like qualitative not quantitative okay and then you have an option uh, to listen carefully to understand it more next time so it's really important that you pay attention here uh, i'm saying option because you might ignore it right so let's say this is a piece of metal right so photoelectric effect in in very brief photoelectric effect now this is a piece of metal any metal any any metal this this is a metal right? metals have free electrons now what do free electrons do free electrons keep moving randomly until they collide right but if it is freely moving it might come outside it's like randomly moving it might come outside of the metal also why not it will come out but as soon as it comes out a negative charge has been lost and this metal says i'm becoming positive now i'm going to pull you back so again electrons can come out of the metal briefly but let's say this was a piece of metal electron is coming out briefly but immediately pulled back attracted back so it's more like there's a dog on a leash outside the house and this is exactly what it is i mean you you have enough energy or the dog has enough energy to roam around but then it has to go back you cannot escape you cannot just run away you can it's not allowed you have less energy less power to go to the front yard backyard wherever you want into the garden you got to come back right but what if i i take a photon here and then give energy so this this energy is absorbed by the electron right so kind of like when we had electron there it absorbs photon and goes to a higher level but these are free electrons anyways these are not jumping to a high level these are free electrons <coughs> so it can absorb this energy and if the energy is enough to make it free it will become free so i repeat what i'm saying so electron was freely coming outside but then it has to go back because it doesn't have energy enough but then what if it needed some certain amount of energy and i provide a photon with that much of energy 
photon will give energy to this electron the photon is gone because it was just energy it is absorbed and it's gone it's no it does not exist and then this electron comes out and becomes free it will just go away and this is free now outside of this metal it does not belong to the metal so now what has happened just now this is photo as in light photo means light electric effect means electricity might flow electric uh, electrons are coming free here because because let's say there was a positively charged plate electron will go there and the circuit is completed and there is a bulb here and that actually happens the electron goes through the bulb and light glows up so this is called photoelectric effect releasing of electrons using photo as in light but there are other ways also that you have to be aware of you don't have to use photo there what you can do is you can heat it up you can provide some heat heat is energy so this electron can they take this energy and become free this is called therm ionic emission so you're using thermal energy now there are different ways to do that is that clear i will cover this in detail anyways in in couple of classes from now there's a third way let's say there's an electron here i provide a very strong field here i put some positively charged plate here it absorb it, it attracts the electron and the electron becomes free this is called field emission so there are different ways you should be aware of that where you can release electron right field emission thermionic emission and there's a secondary emission where you take an electron that is already moving fast you knock off this electron and this gets energy and becomes free that's called the secondary emission we are going to focus on photoelectric effect where we take a photon and then then give electron that energy and it becomes free